Hello. Hi. Is anyone there? Listeners? Listeners, have you left? Make yourselves known. Watch this multiple times, several times. Send this to your parents, send this to your friends, send this to your enemies. Send it to <gasps> everyone. Put it on your resume. <gasps> Make a story about it with like one of those links. <laughs> <laughs> one of those link thingies. <laughs> the link thingies. Y'all can't see, but I was doing like the whole boomer movement with a hand. Like those thingamajigs. <laughs> I aged myself. Ugh. Can we start well, over? you're not far off. Drink your fucking cold coffee. <laughs> It's Turn. room temperature, I'll have you know. <laughs> it's lukewarm. See, that's we starting early with the word of the podcast, you know? Lukewarm. Mm. Have you heard it? I have heard it, but I'm I think I feel the same way I feel about moist. Oh. Lukewarm wow. and moist have the same vibe. It's like what the number seven and Thursday emit the same energy. So do oh. moist and lukewarm. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? I've never thought of this association with seven and Thursday, but yes. Right? Yes. And like, I don't know, Friday and number nine or something. Quit while you're ahead. <laughs> 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 but <laughs> Thursday and seven is wild. I know. Did you come up with that or did no, you read it somewhere? No, of course not. I have no original thoughts. <laughs> um... <laughs> At this day and age, in this economy, honestly, nobody does. Honestly, some people just profit off of it. And here we are, making a podcast should. with um, plastic cutlery near us. <laughs> we need a budget. We need a budget, you guys. See, the thing is, we're not really good at networking, are we? Yeah, yeah. So if you could please kindly share this with friends, family members, enemies, bosses, managers, employees, anyone basically within your reach. Anyone with a Platform? full pocket. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Post First this on all... sugardaddy.com. <laughs> <laughs> we need a better mic. We need chairs. Also, we need cameras because these people are missing out right. on some prime physical comedy. <laughs> it, honestly, they would be honored to watch our. Some would say disturbed, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as we said, we're back to everyone's surprise. Mm-hmm. And ourselves included. Ourselves included. We're gonna discuss TV shows. Yeah, we posted a story yesterday on our official Instagram account uh, where we asked you guys to tell us what your favorite shows are and movies, but we're gonna focus primarily on shows because there's lots to talk about. Uh, so Dielsa, what are you watching right now? Hmm. I'm watching some really truly trash TV shows, but to make up for it, so I don't, I don't know, judge myself. Or lose brain cells. Or lose brain cells. I also started watching The Sopranos. Oh, I've been classic. meaning to watch that for ages, but you know, the trash TV shows got in the way. Is so, it any good? What's the what's the soprano? Because uh, okay, y'all are gonna hate me. I haven't watched it either, and I don't mm, plan on watching it. I'm on the second episode. <laughs> <laughs> and when did you? I start? just know it's about. Um, I started like four days ago, okay. but I watched like I don't know ten minutes when I eat or something. Yeah. Do you binge? I used to. Okay. I used to binge, but not anymore. Um, yeah, the show is about. American Italians, I would say, mm-hmm. and it's uh, it's about these um, criminals or whatever they do stuff they shouldn't do, and the main guy, uh, Tony Soprano, mm-hmm. also goes to therapy. So the show involves therapy as well. That's why I started watching. Of it. course, yeah, now it makes and, sense. And I don't know the pizza, the. The Italian, the, accent, <laughs> the Italian men who are not very um, pleasing to watch. Because <laughs> they're Rag middle. James Gandolfini. <laughs> he is resting. <laughs> and he passed away. Virgo. Oh. He passed away when? I don't know, but he did. He passed away. This is the Wendy Paulie Williams die? woman. Huh? Polly. Who's Polly? From Jersey from... Shore? No, from The Sopranos. The One of the main characters. I thought he died, not 
Gandolfini. James Gandolfini, the actor who plays Tony, died as well. Oh god, I yeah. live under rocks. <laughs> anyway, that's what I've been watching. I've been watching Perfect Match as well, which I'm ashamed to admit, but also, who cares? <laughs> right? You know? Yeah. It's fun. It's... Yeah, like, if we're talking about guilty pleasures, what is guilt, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just to watch whatever you're gonna watch, enjoy it. If it exists, it's meant to be consumed. Just like our podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if this is your guilty pleasure, by all means, release the guilt. You know, yeah. it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's acceptable. Yeah, we're making some changes that we still can't talk about because. Coming soon, you guys. Stay tuned. Yeah, which will probably alleviate some of that guilt you feel. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah. What are you watching? Oof. Uh, the Last of Us. Like, that's the most recent thing that I started watching, and it's not over yet. I thought it ended, and I just what wanted to... That? It's this TV the way, show. I've never heard of it. Really? I, I think not. Yeah, it's pretty new. I mean, it's still ongoing, and it's, like, one season so far. I hope they don't milk it and stretch it and, like, ruin the quality. But it's this TV show uh, based on a video game in 2013, if I'm not mistaken, about uh, this infection, that, uh, this pandemic that spreads... <coughs> oh, oh, what? What? I swear. <laughs> and it's not a virus, it's not a bacteria, it's fungi. Oh. Yeah, it's this real-life fungus called cordyceps that uh, if a spore lands on an ant, it will literally take take over its body, uh, reproduce itself, and basically control the ant to go to a place of like high exposure and bite down on a branch so it can like create spores out of its body. Basically it kills the ant and it uses uh, the high placement to spread uh, <clears throat> its spores further. Okay. And yeah, it can wipe out colonies of ants like that. Uh, and the TV show is about uh, how this mushroom, this fungi, basically evolves. Because currently it can't infect humans because their body temperature is too high. But there's a scene in the beginning of the first episode where uh, some scientists are saying that uh, if it had a reason to evolve, i.e. global warming, and then it can like uh, oh infect humans as well. And haven't we suffered enough? I swear, like, don't give microorganisms ideas. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and uh, there are two episodes left. I'm excited to watch those, but I watch some shit as well. <laughs> Uh, there's this TV show, Boo Bitch, that I watched. Maybe it's not shit, but it's very, like, lemonade, very whatever. What's it about? It's Is about... it, like, a dating show or something? No, it's this one-season show with the girl, um, the cute Asian chick that played in To All the Boys I've Kissed. Oh! Yeah, I like her. She's oh, funny. I... She has really nice comedic timing, you were gonna say. I think I've, I've seen the trailer. For Boo Bitch? Yeah. Yeah, it was... Uh, I started it watching because I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, I like her. I like the yeah. movie she's been in. Uh, I started watching it and I'm like, oh god, like this is just... <laughs> no, but I have this thing that once I start a TV series, I will commit mm. and I will torture myself and watch it until the end. Um, I wanted to say something about um, the thing you were talking about, the fun fungi, whatever. <laughs> It reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> it reminded me of this study I read that basically some researchers from I don't know if it was Stanford or Yale, mm -hmm. but they are trying to bring mammoths back because they think that it will solve the climate change crisis somehow. I don't know how. I don't know mm -hmm. how it works, but basically they're already working on it they want to mix uh, elephant genes with mm -hmm. some genes that have they have found mm -hmm. from mammoths from mammoths make a mix of it too and save the world <laughs> <laughs> and she's a mammoth of course <laughs> i was gonna make that reference right now i was gonna be like uh Dielsa has a personal interest in this topic because She's a mammoth, of course. <laughs> but no, that's interesting. It is. And imagine you go out of the house to get coffee and there's a random mammoth walking around oh saving the planet. And you're like, hey, bestie. With that weird ass hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get your blow dry? <laughs> oh my god. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I do you watch horror uh, TV shows because The Last of Us is horror. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. I just think I wanted to watch it. <sighs> uh, 
No, I don't. I don't consume things that terrify me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't watch uh, horror or like thrillers because I have anxiety as it is. <laughs> it's overflowing, it's there, it's present, it's known. So if I watch one of those things, it just gets worse. And I love myself <laughs> more than I love entertainment. <laughs> So I'm not gonna do that to myself. Every time I've watched a horror movie or a TV show, I haven't slept for days. Really? Yeah, I'm a <laughs> bleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is about me, but I do like that. You know, it's like, again, it's like microdosing death or yeah. like um, this sense of ang controlled anxiety. Because if that crap happens in real life, you will I know. Would piss my no i will piss my pants but like if i watch it i'm like oh, okay like this is what i'm supposed to do obviously we can't prepare ourselves for these sorts of things but still uh but yeah the haunting of bly manor you have to I, watch I, it i started watching it i and? started watching it i think i got to the third or something mm -hmm. episode and it was so creepy the way those kids would like leave the house randomly mm -hmm. and then come back all like Muddy and... Muddy and... I was like, mm -mm, I'm not watching this! Especially when kids are involved, wearing some creepy-ass white pajamas. I'm not <laughs> signing up for that shit. Especially kids, because as some little girl with like long black hair, it's mm. always that. That's yeah. like the archetype of it horror... It is. It is. It, <laughs> it all started with uh, Ring, the Japanese movie, and then the american remake but yeah but it's so good like the content and the ending like i bawled like a child because it's so sad it's not even like okay there are jump scares and whatnot but the message is just like oh who's the guy with the turtleneck on the window I is he a ghost he do you want spoilers i'm never gonna watch it all right Go so he is uh, he is this like the sleazy uh, guy that sort of infiltrates this rich family mm -hmm. he wants to run away with a maid uh, and he wants like to rob the family of their money or whatever it's, uh, it's been a while since i watched it so i might be uh, my exactly. oh, and exactly. he dies uh, in the house so basically what happened is that a long time ago like several uh, centuries ago or decades ago i'm not sure uh, there, uh this woman died in the house her name was viola i think and all her stuff got locked uh, in this uh, room they go into yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and like the family in order to get rid of uh, to get rid of her ghost whatever they throw it in the lake uh, in the nearby lake you know I, or, or whatever is it a creek is it a lake whatever but every single night uh, she emerges from the lake she oh, enters her own home I know but stop yeah. it <laughs> yeah so basically everyone dies and then uh, they're all ghosts except, yeah, except the nanny except the nanny uh, and then in the end I'm gonna spoil it since you don't all right I'm not gonna spoil it because you know some listeners might be into it so yeah. Something happens in the end, and you will see how love truly conquers all. <laughs> oh god. Um, what about um, the thing uh, we we mentioned something about this the main actress, the nanny. She's from you, Victoria right? Victoria Pedretti or Pedretti yeah. or something. Yeah, she she's is. A, a season two or something. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have you watched love. you? Yes, yes, um, I have. I wolf you. Oh, Ugh, God. the cringe of it all. You know what? She deserved to die at the end of the third. See, I haven't oh, got... Oh. Yeah, like, I don't... I don't want to watch it. Because okay. it... Dan Humphrey? <laughs> Y'all should I don't want to go through <laughs> Dan Humphrey again. <laughs> <laughs> I, You know, I got to the part where um, they invite these, uh, this couple in their mm -hmm. house. And the couple uh, realizes what they got themselves into. Yeah. And they, they start... Uh, fighting them and trying to escape yeah. and i stopped there but i know that the new season is out and yeah. it's apparently in london mm -hmm. but i'm not i'm not planning on watching it because yeah it feels like it jumped the shark because all right how many people can you kill before right. you eventually get caught in today's day and age like dude yeah whatever i mean they're getting away with it as we read on the news every day. <laughs> well, we're on the Balkans, so... <laughs> yeah. 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 Makes sense. Horrible. I'm surprised that you watched you, though, because the one thing that everyone should know about Yelza is that <laughs> once a show blows up, she will run in the opposite direction yeah. <laughs> and avoid everything about it. So, just to name a couple of shows that you haven't Please watched... Please do. Be my guest. <laughs> Squid Game. 
Disgusting. An international phenomenon. I know everybody <laughs> talked about it. I was like, no, I'm not gonna do this to myself. Also very creepy and scary. I so mean, that's part of it as well. Hey, if you there's live... a lot of gore shit going on in that. Yeah, but if you live in capitalism, you have to watch it because it could happen to you. It could happen. You to know, you. I'll let it happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> you would win the game. Come on, no jokes. And the fact that you don't know a thing of like what that means. No, there's a creepy doll that like makes them not move or something yeah yeah it's uh, basically uh the thing is that you get um these rich people that want to watch it's always them isn't it's it it's always the one percent it's always our editor in chief <laughs> 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 i want to be a what was the video that we were referencing <laughs> i want to be uh, a british aristocrat i want to be evil Oh my god, yes! I yes. love how they're so... Yes, uh, it was this guy doing stand-up, yeah. I think, right? I want to be so rich, I want to have people fetched. <laughs> Jonathan! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I love that video. Oh anyway, god. moving on. I haven't watched Game of Thrones. I haven't watched Casa del Papel. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched um, the thing with the meth and whatever. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. <laughs> the thing with the meth. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched. What else is big that I haven't watched? Uh, House of the Dragon. Yeah, is, that as well. Yeah. Uh, but I've heard all about it. Yeah, it was well, all that's the thing. Over. You can't escape it. But what do you look for in TV shows then? Like if you're, hmm. like why do you watch the TV I have you these shows that I've watched a million times and I keep on watching them. It's crazy. It's, it's an addiction at this point. The thing is, I watch shows that are uh, old, let's mm -hmm. say um, late 90s, early 2000s, because okay. I like the vibe. Mm -hmm. the camera the lighting it's different it's very cozy it's yeah. very i want to live in that aesthetic mm -hmm. and for example i watch sex in the city have watched it a million times i watch gilmore girls i'm obsessed with it i watch dawson's creek what was that thud <laughs> the second i said gilmore girls someone was like boom girl <laughs> <laughs> bring it back to the 21st century <laughs> So yeah, Dawson's Creek, I watch, what else? I don't know, these all these movies that are from that era, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and I keep on watching, for Seinfeld as well. I love Seinfeld. Really? Yeah. Everybody's, everybody keeps saying that uh, they don't like Jerry, because he's like arrogant and not funny and is can't he the do guy? Comedy. Is he the guy that shafted Kesha out of a hug? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that's Ugh. Cool. I know. But the show is funny and I don't know, I enjoy it. I love Kramer, he's my favorite character. I don't Kramer's, know if you've watched. Something. Kramer is the one, uh, I think I know he's the character. He's the neighbor crackhead. He's the one with the wild hair, yeah. right? Yeah. Love that guy. Um, <laughs> a lot of people have told me I'm Elaine in real life and I kind of see it. Not the yeah. looks, but the, the attitude. Definitely Elaine. <laughs> the only female in the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Checks out. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, so I don't watch these uh, things that go big because I feel like there's a lot of pressure there. Mm -hmm. You have to watch them. It's all over Instagram. It's all over, I don't know, the news. And you're like, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta keep up yeah, with this. Yeah. And the second it gets that big, I'm like, it must be pretty basic if everybody likes it, you know? Not to be a pick me, choose me, but <laughs> come on, standards are there, Annie. <laughs> Watch a skill workout. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> pick one. <laughs> acquired taste. Watching uh, Emily Gilmore rant is an acquired taste. Okay, which should... one is Emily? Is a woman. It... <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> 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 She's a woman. She's a woman. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that, I guess. Yeah. I, I don't got nothing else to say. No, because uh, when we were researching uh, why most people watch uh, TV shows, we got some interesting results. Uh, so we have people, like 80% of people, uh, watch shows. Um, 
to distract themselves. So basically... Um, That's a big part of it. Yeah, yeah. You want that instant gratification to fill time, to, you know, uh, combat boredom that you may have in your uh, day-to-day life, have a break or whatever. Uh, do you do that? Do you watch shows? I do that. I do that a lot, actually. Especially when I was... Uh, when I was, as if... I was alone in that. <laughs> when we were on uh, quarantine, mm-hmm. you know, there was this um, insane amount of news we would consume every day, yeah. absorb it, feel bad about it, be sad about it, yada, yada, yada. So what's the best thing you can do? Basically go to another reality and distract yourself from all the scary shit we were, we were experiencing. And But now I do it when... I don't know about escaping um, daily life, but sometimes I do it when I'm so overcome with emotions Mm -hmm. that I need to just take a breather, you know, distract myself from all of it and then get back to reflecting or doing whatever the fuck to feel better at a later time when I'm more, I don't know, present and calm. Mm Uh, But I think a big part of it, when we're talking about distraction, is escaping the grind, escaping daily life problems, escaping the fact that we're so under pressure to make it. And there there has been um, a lot of... So this guy, I don't remember his name, Mac Krackner or something, he's a scientist. (laughs) <laughs> with Crack- that name. <laughs> but I know that he collaborated with Netflix and they did surveys mm-hmm. on why and how much people watch um, Netflix shows and it turns out that why they watch it is because they don't like the reality they live in and it's a sad thing to to find out to be honest but that's what netflix and every other streaming platform, platform. you know Capitalizes uses on, yeah. yeah monetizes our sadness i guess um but on the other side i wanted to talk a little bit about the dopamine that we get out of it because mm-hmm. i feel like at least for me but in general i would believe it is like that we don't have our reward system regulated because we're constantly uh, looking to find dopamine outside of ourselves watching tv or going out and drinking substances etc and i feel like tv shows and movies and uh, tv entertainment in general uh, is a big part of it and um the more you the more you watch the more you want to watch because that's where you get your fix from Mm-hmm. And it's it's a hell hole because you never get out of it. But the sad thing is that you build tolerance. So no matter how much you binge, at some point it's not going to satisfy you. It's actually like a like full on addiction. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a pseudo addiction. It's not even addiction to the actual art, to mm-hmm. the creation, like to the TV show. It's more addiction to what the TV show makes you feel. Mm-hmm. And when it stops giving you that, you, sh- you seek another TV show or you seek and you watch five, 10 episodes or like I've had days where I would watch a season in one sitting Damn. of whatever show. Yeah. It depends if they're like an hour yeah, an episode yeah. or like 20 minutes an episode for mm-hmm. sure. But um, there has been this uh, clinical psychologist did a study on this and she said that she attributes dopamine to our body's natural uh, response to enjoyment obviously we all know that but binge viewing she says is a show uh, binge viewing a show produces a continuous stream of dopamine in our brains that dopamine gives the body a natural signal and an internal reward of pleasure so then it reinforces continuing continued engagement in that activity so you get that dopamine and you want to get it in bigger amounts the next time yeah so she says this is a signal that communicates to the body that hey this is a good thing you're doing and you should keep on doing it because your brain is happy now Mm -hmm. but it will get sad later because the tolerance will build up as well damn it's so weird and uh, it turns out as i said we're not actually craving the show we're watching i'm not craving seinfeld i'm craving what uh they say and how they say it and how it makes me feel i i laugh i'm happy 
and I distract myself from all the not happy things in my life. Yeah, yeah. So basically, if you were in a position where you um, all other factors that cause anxiety or stress in your life are removed, and you objectively watch a show to dissect its um, humor, yeah. meaning. Um, cinematography, direction, all of those things, you might not find it that entertaining. Exactly, yeah. It's sort of like the Kardashians. You're following a family doing absolutely nothing for most of the time. Yeah. Um, but so many people tune in because, again, it offers like this escapism uh, and this sort of fantasy that okay, you exist in their life, these are your friends. You they're know talking, so much about Yeah, that. they're talking directly to you, and that's not the case. But a lot of people fall prey to that. I might not watch the Kardashians to do that, but Real Housewives of <laughs> Atlanta? <laughs> yeah, it's wild. I think the thing you said about um, when you remove yourself from the emotional part and you watch it objectively. That's what happened to me with the show Friends. Because mm -hmm. I watched this video where they removed the laughs. Yeah. And it wasn't funny at all. See? And it it was never funny, but I was there for you heard the it drama. First. <laughs> I was there for Rachel's outfits. I was there for Joey's stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, but then when I when I removed myself from, you know, the friend's craze, let's say. Yeah. I realized that actually it's not funny at all. It conditions you to laugh along with the audience, yeah. you know? And it, that's just a recording, like those people yeah. are dead. Ew, Do you that's know so that? creepy, yeah, I know. Cause they I, use the same ones they've used like, I don't know, mm -hmm, 70 mm -hmm. years ago or something. Uh, right, and like there are people that have noticed like a particular laugh being found in like different shows Ooh. it's wild and you're right like it's there for a reason it's meant to you know laugh monkey laugh yeah <laughs> they're giving you a laughing partner yeah but it's not giving <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry yeah that's what i well that's what i don't like about comedy shows is that they sort of oh here's the joke here's the punchline yeah. now laugh yeah it's very formulaic and I'm, you know, uh, you don't watch big TV shows because you're like, I don't like being told what to do. Exactly. <laughs> like, I don't like to be told when to laugh. Like, if I find it funny, I will laugh. I have personal agency, you guys. Exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, so another reason why... Reason <laughs> <laughs> another reason why people watch TV shows uh, is comfort. How so many people voted for that? Apparently like 16% uh, voted, you know, uh, watching TV shows uh, for comfort, either uh, shared family time or couple time with familiar shows, which uh, I don't really do. Hmm. I, I don't watch shows for comfort. For uh, I mean, I used to watch a movie for comfort. Yeah. Uh, have you watched Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? Yeah, I love it. Oh god, I it's love so good. It. I love Michael Cera. It's my favorite type of white boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute, come on. I know. But like, I used to watch this movie every single day in 2014 when I was in Massachusetts. Uh, I was there for three months working. And this used to be my... Hey, flex. <laughs> I said working. I didn't go there to enjoy myself. I was working in a damn restaurant. <laughs> What's wrong with that? At least you're in the US. That sure, was kind of fun. Sure, with no health insurance. And when I cut my finger, I had to, you oh, know, <laughs> tie let's, it. Let's not get dark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's get people health insurance. <laughs> no, but uh, I would go home uh, and just play this movie and I swear I know it by heart. Like, the Scott Pilgrim vs. World and Mean Girls are movies that I can like literally quote right now. Is this is, uh, bread, ma bread makes you fat? I don't know if bread makes you fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. From that yep, yep, yeah. Yep, 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 <laughs> it is from that. Cutie. My god, it's so good. Uh, and Aubrey Plaza is in it. I love Aubrey Plaza. Uh, and yeah, what about you? Do you I... watch comfort shows or do you have? I have comfort shows. Yeah, the Gilmore the ones World. I mentioned. Yeah, <laughs> but I have comfort movies as well that I watch every once in a while. 
I'm not gonna disclose that information. <laughs> you've, you've had enough. <laughs> but, Exposition on DLC as a person. <laughs> I think that uh, I have shows that I watch with my family, like at the moment. It's that trash TV show, reality show, whatever it is, Big Brother. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why I'm watching it. It's just that, you know, every Saturday, it's me and my siblings, whatever, we watch it. It's fun, I guess. But other than that, I don't think we use the TV at home as much. It's just there. Nobody watches TV because mm -hmm. we're all on our phones or laptops or whatever. So we kind of just ignore the existence of the TV. Yeah. <laughs> it's so less century, I don't know. Unless you, you have Netflix on it or like whatever, the apps, but... Yeah, if it's a smart TV, yeah. then that's how it's gonna be used, but like any other, any other But case... still, like, why would you open Netflix there or why would you use YouTube on your TV? It just doesn't make sense. Do me. you watch movies and like TV shows on your phone? I do, because it's so comfy. Really? See, comfort. When I eat, for example, I watch, I'm an iPad kid. Okay. So I have to entertain myself. It's like Rich. the the medieval. <laughs> no, I never had an iPad, bitch. Oh, a tablet. Then. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was something. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean like I have that medieval urge for entertainment when I eat, <laughs> um, and I would watch I don't know random shows. On my phone but i think it's the easiest way to finish a show because your phone is everywhere with you yeah so you can just like pop your earphones in and you're done louise from big brother being your personal jester <laughs> oh my god technically <laughs> <laughs> with all the things he does oh my god a jester if you will yeah but i don't do that i uh i will not watch i will refuse to watch a show on my phone just because it's so small mm. and not to be a size queen but <laughs> I I feel like I will be missing a lot of like the background things or oh. like facial expressions huh. and yet yeah. also do you watch shows with subtitles or do you just listen? I've been shamed for that. <laughs> I've been shamed for putting subtitles on, but sometimes things fly past me and I need <laughs> to have evidence that it happened. You know, I need the subtitles. Yeah, yeah. I can. I, some one especially when i'm watching shows that are in another language obviously but for example in german mm -hmm. i i can understand obviously but yeah. i have to have it there for some assurance yeah <laughs> what if something slips and i don't hear it you know yeah yeah <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> <Get out. laughs> but also when i'm watching like uh british shows mm. i don't understand sometimes <laughs> I have to admit it, no shame in that, but when I'm watching American TV, I don't use subtitles, okay? You can shame me on the comments if you want, I don't care. Uh, Have you seen that uh, meme of Velma from Scooby-Doo being on the floor like, my glasses, I can't see without my glasses. Yeah, that's and, me with the subtitles. Yeah, <laughs> someone like made the same uh, meme, uh, it was basically her looking for the glasses on the floor and she was like, uh, subtitles, I can't hear without subtitles. Exactly, and if I'm eating, if I have, I don't know, snacks around me, I cannot hear anything anyone's saying. Not even with headphones? No, I don't watch things on my laptop or phone with headphones. Really? Yeah. Oh, a public It's nurses. the neuro <laughs> divergent in me. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, can I break the news uh, on so. what happened to you on Wednesday? <gasps> what happened? I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone has a degree on psychology now. <laughs> Insert applause Finally. here. Finally. But yeah, so now I you think... can actually diagnose us. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm allowed to do that without a license, but I will do it as a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it for the past 24 years, so why, why stop now when exactly. I have the degree? Well, these people naturally gravitated towards you. <laughs> <laughs> they... <laughs> oh um, my god. Yeah, we 
totally forgot what we were talking about. Yeah, so um, again, uh, the next thing that the next reason why people watch TV shows is experience. So basically, watching together uh, to join like social conversation about what's going on. Uh, I feel like that that I do with Big Brother occasionally because mm. I cannot extend mental energy to keep up with these people's drama. Yeah. But like when we're gathered and we're watching an episode, it's fun to just like comment on like, oh, yeah, I like her. The okay. Clap bags are yeah, <laughs> yeah. And another uh, reason, uh, this is like twelve percent of people voted that they watch TV shows um, to keep. Uh, in touch, so basically to feel aware to feel aware of what's going on in the world. I think that's the case with like shows such as uh, Squid Game or whatever. Wednesday. But, yeah, we Wednesday. 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 I totally forgot about that show, but that show had a big impact on everybody. It did. Damn. And I didn't believe it would be that successful because I was like, "Come on, it's Adam's family. You can't basically mm -hmm. outshine them." Mm -hmm. But Jenna Ortega, that was Jenna her name? Ortega, yeah. yeah. She did that. I was a bit apprehensive when I saw the werewolf girl, because I was like, she's gonna be annoying. But like, she didn't grind my gears as much as yeah. I expected her to. I think I was more annoyed uh, with the... Uh, what was The siren? Her? Yeah. Yeah. Like, get a job, get a hobby. You're in school, baby. Enjoy yourself, you know? None yeah. of this. But, like, when we got to see her mother, we understood why she's oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, the issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the quizzes. Yay! So, uh, to prepare uh, something, uh, something interesting. This show is interesting, okay? But, like, to <laughs> add a different segment to the show, uh, we decided to uh, make a couple of, to do a couple of uh, BuzzFeed quizzes uh, based on the shows that both of us have watched so we can understand uh, the context and see if uh, the quiz got it right or not. Um, see if it resonates with us. Yeah, yeah. Because when I'm watching a show, I always resonate with one of the characters, naturally. Mm -hmm. But every time I've done those BuzzFeed quizzes, it's always some random ass character that I'm like, how and why would tapping on my phone to choose, I don't know, pasta over pizza make me this character? Yeah, or a pattern. Yeah, oh a God. pattern, a exactly. Pattern. I know, a I pattern. know the question. And I think we were both so annoyed yesterday when we got the same <laughs> result for one of these shows. Okay, so first show is Gossip Girl. What was your result? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> It was Dan Humphrey. Oh my god, I got Dan Humphrey as well. Ugh, why are we like this? So m maybe Giving Cunt is the equivalent of Gossip Girl. XOXO. Giving cut. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do that? No. <laughs> no one can no. do it. No one can do it better than if we get Kristen Bell to yeah, say sure. it. Yeah, sure, Kristen. <laughs> I got We're... her as speed dial. <laughs> I hate that I got Dan Humphrey. I hated Dan Humphrey when I was watching Gossip Girl for the first time and for the other ugh, all the other times I watched it. Cause like get a hobby, get a job. This is jobless behavior. You're up on everybody's business for no reason. Well you're here lying about your father's net worth, living in poverty loft <laughs> which is in the middle of Upper East Side so no, it's it's, it's in, in Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Which is still expensive. Which is still expensive. Like God. you would be in Jersey, honey, if you were really poor. Right? Not even there. I don't know. You would be <laughs> somewhere, but not in Brooklyn. <laughs> My god, I, I got... hated Dan. Oh my god, now that I think about it, I really hated Dan. And maybe that's like a shadow part of me that I unconsciously unconsciously <laughs> realized. I was like, <laughs> never mind, what do you think about Dan? <laughs> no, no, you keep going because I got no, Dan I as well. Wanna... I got Dan as well. So whatever you're saying applies to me. And yes, it is. We watch the show and we want to be like the badass or whatever. And by that I mean Georgina. <laughs> <laughs> but um, maybe we are Dan. <laughs> maybe we are Dan. But you know, I'm still glad that I didn't get Vanessa. Because oh, then God. I'd really have a reason to cry. Right? Yeah. Now I can keep my tears in the back of my head. Vanessa. It's fine. 
Vanessa had that like, do you remember that outfit she had with like the leather or red pants? It was atrocity. Oh my god, Vanessa Atro- stands, Isn't make it? noise. Right. <laughs> 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 my god, so Next, yeah. where were we? Did we do uh, The Office, right? Yeah, we did The Office. What did you get from The Office? It's actually very funny because I always thought I'm a Dwight type of person. Okay, I see Very that. annoying, very... <laughs> Not for annoying, just like very perfectionist and like yeah, by the book. Very... No, he wants people to do things the way he does things. Mm-hmm. So I resonate with that. Mm-hmm. But then I got fucking Toby and, I went, and Toby works in HR. <laughs> Toby. I love Toby because he's just like, oh, I'm done with everybody's bullshit. Yeah. I'm just not gonna clap back. But I'm not that. <laughs> you I'm... are not. You're so not that. I but don't know. I don't know. Maybe Toby's shadow self is, is more me. you. <laughs> <laughs> I got Angela. <laughs> oh, God. I see it! I see it! I see it! I totally see it! Oh my God! Okay, so apart from uh, the her hyper Christianity, <laughs> I am the party pooper. I am the guy that just oof. Uh, if you it. if you have fun, I will shit on it. <laughs> I think what I see the most is the facial expressions. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally. And your posture. (laughs) My height? (laughs) Your height. (laughs) Honestly, I love it. I love that we didn't know about this. Yeah, yeah. But Jesus Christ, when I got Angela, I was... Because maybe I expected... I don't know, maybe... uh, Daryl or, you know, someone more laid back. But if I had gotten, like, Kevin... <laughs> Who's Kevin? He was the um, uh, accountant that worked with... Uh, Kevin! 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 Yeah, Kevin. He, the one with the chili pot? Yes! <laughs> yes. Oh god, cutie. My god. Um, next, what do we have next? We have Sex on the City. Oh god, I hated this result. <laughs> do you agree the with The Christianity <laughs> comes in again. <laughs> <laughs> and then it turns into Juda- Judaism. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I got Charlotte. Oof. I see why. Mm-hmm. I see why. But the algorithm doesn't know that. Or does it? <laughs> my, my, my FBI agent working overtime. <laughs> 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 no, I got... It says you definitely have some uh, care-like tendencies, but at the end of the day, you are truly, deeply romantic. You're a total Charlotte. Uh, China to take life too seriously and let loose once in a while. See, I get it, cause she's very preppy. She's very very organized, very, very organized, very clean. She's like ill this, ill that. I get that. Very you, very me. <laughs> but <laughs> no, I don't want. This is not the result I wanted. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> what did you get? I'm sure you didn't get what you wanted. It's never what we want. Yeah, I fully was expecting like Miranda or something because I am very... (laughs) Judgy. (laughs) Judgy, (laughs) off-putting. But I got Carrie. Ooh. Yeah, it says you probably think you're a Samantha or Charlotte, but you're actually Carrie. A total Carrie. Thank you. That's so much information and detail. Try not to overthink your life too much and have some fun. And then I wondered... Is this all a sham? <laughs> and honestly, I yeah. I sat there and I wondered. I don't see Carrie for myself. Maybe the writer part, but yeah, other yeah, than that. actually. But they don't know that, do they? Or do they know that? Buzzfeed, what are you? Buzzfeed. What are, you are, are, are they listening in right now? Probably. Okay, did you do the quiz for White Lotus character? <gasps> I did it, and I fucking hate it. Who? I hate everything I get, honestly. <laughs> and this is the Charlotte in me, <laughs> or maybe the Miranda. Who knows? Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Probably Miranda. Yeah. What did you get? I from? got Paula from season one. The ungrateful bitch that goes on vacation with a whole ass 
millionaire family and okay. tries to rob them oh. and is like yada 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 all the time. I hated that character. Honestly, she was smart or whatever, reading books at the pool. Mm -hmm. We get it. Pick me, choose me. But <laughs> I didn't like that she was so backstabbing. And why did I get her? It says, you don't like to show people the real you. Oop. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> <laughs> so you often crack jokes or appear purposely standoffish. <gasps> Is this therapy? Gilza, why didn't we see this? <laughs> you are <However>, Bob. <laughs> you're protecting yourself for a reason. Even if you sometimes make bad decisions, your intentions are always pure. Yeah, I'm gonna steal your jewelry or whatever she stole. What yeah. did she steal? I don't um, remember. Yeah, she got Kai, one of the employees at the resort, to steal a necklace that was worth god knows how many thousands of dollars mm -hmm. um, because he needed it for like a, a lawsuit See, that's a something. good thing. But it like, is, but like, they girl, don't deserve it. Yeah. Who she could have... The family. I, yeah, yeah, sure. And there are other ways. Like, girl, you're... First of all, it's risky. You're not this criminal mastermind. Like, yeah. what makes you think you can pull this off? Like, you're a... Teenager. Was she a teenager? Uh, I think uh, the Early first 20s, year in maybe. college, yeah. yeah, but something like that. And it's like, just because you feel a certain type of way about your best friend, who you uh, willfully hang out with... Yeah, and uh, practically use. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're in all... Hawaii because of them. Yeah. Like, if you have, like, such uh, principles and integrity, stay your ass home. Like, yeah. why join if you're gonna be plotting against them? So, I didn't like her either. But for other aspects, I do see that. You know, like, the protecting and... She, she the is... Closed the closed off vibe, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. I got Armand. <laughs> he was the man. The man. I loved him. <laughs> this is amazing, and I see it. It's the fun party. Oh my god! It's the, it's the vibes, really. But you know what? While I was watching this show and watching Armand, I'm like, this is me when I work in customer experience jobs yeah. or like customer service. Very jobs. collected. Very, very collected. ready to not. Yeah. Explode. And go in my office, or in my case, the bathroom, and just like yeah. scream into a toilet bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the description for him says, You're a hard worker and a people pleaser who exudes charm, but you have your limits. You have been known to fall back on bad habits when things get tough, but in your defense, you have a super hard job. And dealing with people is pretty hard, yeah. so I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't envy people working in customer service jobs because people suck. <laughs> they do. Uh, next up, uh, did you do the Stranger Things quiz? I did, and I got Will. Oh. And I don't understand. Maybe I'm Will, but Will doesn't really do anything except get possessed by <laughs> underground things. <laughs> Do I get possessed by underground things? No, but you do cry silently in vans. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to have that haircut growing up. <laughs> See, <this? laughs> yeah, I wanted to be Rihanna so bad because I watched her with that bop. <laughs> but I went to the local hairstylist and she did me dirty. I'll never emotionally recover from that haircut. Oh my god, you told me, like, uh, when, the when, you, bob. when you turned around, it yeah. was just like... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god. And somebody has proof of that. <laughs> but I don't know, I, I'd i rather not dig, you know? Yeah. I, My ego is at peace right now. I wouldn't want to... <laughs> to disturb it, yeah. I, I don't want to disturb the monster. Um, what did you get? I got 11. That's kind of main character of you. It is, but apart from being bald... <laughs> <laughs> My haircut! <laughs> yeah, I don't see much of the resemblance. It says you're Do you like waffles? <laughs> Maybe we could... No, <gasps> not even... I mean, uh, I what I like about waffles are the toppings. Mm. The Nutella, the whatever. Yeah, but like, that's what then. makes it. Yeah, right? Cause... But she just eats plain Eggos, dude. Oh. Ugh, wild. <laughs> Vile. Oh, she's been through the trenches. Mm, so With I would papa. be too. With papa, <laughs> if I grew in the lab like a rat. 
I did this, um, I don't know if you did it, but I did the quiz on um, Grey's Anatomy, even though I haven't watched it, I've just watched random episodes when I caught them on TV. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched the whole thing because it's like, what, a hundred seasons? <laughs> and truly, I don't have the time for truly, it. Truly, yeah. <laughs> Um, but I got Derek, and I was like, oh, the drama! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and, but I don't know, you have to tell me because I haven't watched the show, and I don't know what Derek is like, so come on, read me to Phil. Uh, Derek is the best neurosurgeon out there. I love neurology! And that makes him so arrogant, <gasps> su such an asshole. The uh, type of guy I'd go for. Definitely. So if you're <laughs> if you're Derek, I married it because like I did the test. And, and you're married. <laughs> but like I do be choose me, pick me, love me, <laughs> pick me uh, my way through life. But yeah, it was wild. I I did this test a while ago, um, and I got Christina, and I see more of myself in Christina as well, because she is very... Which one was Christina? The one with the... Uh, Korean, I think, or... Uh... <gasps> yes! Yeah. The one for um, Killing Eve, right? Yes! Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. Another show Which you haven't I haven't watched. watched. <laughs> But see, I know, I know things. <laughs> yeah, at least you're, you know, aware and in touch. Did you do the friends quiz? Oh god, I did. <sighs> and I also did the flea bag one. Okay. I mean, I, let's leave that one for the end. Okay. Okay, so I did the, the friends one and I got Joey. Ugh. And I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that if I was in real life, I'm more like if Chandler and Monica were one person, mm -hmm. I have both of their qualities and bad sides and whatever the fuck in one person. But I get the Joey part as well because I don't like sharing food. <laughs> oh my god, and that's it. It's not like I'm, it's not that I won't give you my food, it's that if you touch anything on my plate, I will be disgusted. Oh my god. And I will stop eating. I, I can give you a piece of my pizza, even though I don't like pizza, but whatever, just for the sake of the argument. Mm -hmm. I can give you the piece and you can eat it on your plate. But if you put your hands on my plate, I'm like, I'm not happy. At I, that know, moment. I know. And it shows. <laughs> but that gives more Monica vibes, right? I know. Yeah. I, I would say Joey based on the I looks. know! <laughs> 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 based on what based on looks i'm joey yeah i'm an american italian you're exactly <laughs> with the sopranos now no but like dark haired you yeah. know white complexion buff buff <laughs> <laughs> my god sure I, got, I see it i got raw oh and oh. i Oof. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. We can cry about this together. We can mourn. I'm gonna need a session. <laughs> it says you can't get laid without getting someone pregnant. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, Ross, I... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If I put one of those papery bags on his face, it would be fine. And maybe change the voice. And, and the, the character <laughs> and everything and about everything. him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry, but let's get to Fleabag. Okay. I love Fleabag. Okay. I'm obsessed with Fleabag. Same. I sometimes do the camera thing in real life. Mm -hmm. Same. Especially when I'm in a situation that I definitely shouldn't do that. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, and I got the hot priest. And I see it. Oh my god! I see it. I don't know, but I see it. <laughs> oh I, Jesus! I will not elaborate, but I see why I would be uh, the priest. Um, <laughs> this is the second time we get. Um, you got it as well. No, no, no! This is the second time that we get a couple. <gasps> I got flea back. <laughs> oh my god! And she is like, I mean, I am that You unhinged. are, yeah, you are her, yeah. <laughs> that unhinged, like, alright. <laughs> <laughs> With the comments and With everything. the comments. I feel like if I had bigger breasts, I wouldn't be such a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm, actually, this checks out, checks out word of the day, but uh, this checks out because every time she would do the camera thing, he would realize it. He would point mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, and yeah. I always point out your 
facial expressions or I get it when you're trying to say something with your face. We had a moment yesterday at Cantina where just I I just turned to you without even looking at you. You're and like, I, ah, I saw. <laughs> it's wild, like my priest, my hot priest. Uh, uh, okay, so that's the that's part of the quizzes. Uh, do we do the Instagram comments? Instagram? Let's do it. Okay, uh, since we don't want to take too much of your guys' time, you can pause this and listen back. We don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we hope so. We hope so, but basically, let's see. I, I saw that there are some shows that are um, repeated, mm -hmm. like that multiple people uh said they watch like Did feedback you watch oh okay and then there's um attack on titan Ooh. the haunting of hill house yeah. blind manor yeah that one shutter island was a hit yeah it was a movie with leonardo DiCaprio. Did you watch it yeah i have watched it a million times but i i'm saying it was a hit because multiple people wrote it mm -hmm. Um, there's Desperate Housewives that I loved growing up. We didn't do the quiz on that. Who would you yeah. be from Desperate Housewives? I feel like I would be Brie. Mm -hmm. I do see that. But uh, again, like very well kept, like strict people that are just yeah. have their shit together. Fucking That's very psychopaths. you. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Gets out of oh her with a shotgun. <laughs> I love that scene when someone gets in her house and uh, they say like something, she's in the garden, doing gardening, uh -huh. and uh, the person says, I don't know which character it was, but they say, can I come in? And she's like, of course, what's a garden without a snake? Oh, <laughs> ooh, it was probably Edie. <laughs> I don't know. Um, someone wrote a Zell for some reason. <laughs> Whoever watches that... <laughs> I don't know, I don't have a comment, but go off, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> don't shame that no person. No shaming <laughs> I get it though, I get it. Mm -mm, I know the vibes. And then we have, what else? Wednesday, obviously, mm -hmm. Sex and the City. We have uh, Utopia, which I started watching, but then I was like, oh, I don't need to be traumatized. I know who wrote that, and yeah. stop it. Stop <laughs> like, it, please. It's a dead horse at this point. <laughs> we'll watch it. Please, we'll watch it. <laughs> we have Shrek, Stranger Things, White Chicks. <gasps> White Chicks. Nicole's <Ooh>. just <laughs> You just mentioned that earlier, actually. Yeah, with our editor-in-chief, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Bojack Horseman. That's also good. That's Very really depressive, good. but I, I've i watched a couple of seasons, I guess, mm -hmm. and I see why. I see why people would be obsessed with it. It's so good. I watched it all, and like there were parts where I literally cried. And like yeah. it's a cartoon of a person, like an anthropomorphic horse. Yeah. It's wild, but it's so deep, it's so good. Uh, that's that. I mean, I don't know if I mentioned everything, but... Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's Family Guy as well. Ooh. I feel like if I did that quiz, I'd be Stewie. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Oh my god. You would be... Uh... Meg. <laughs> uh, bro! <laughs> No, definitely, <laughs> my god, just everyone goes. I don't know if I'd be Quagmire or Stewie. <laughs> I have some Quagmire tendencies. Oh my god, a crackhead for sure with that <laughs> shirt. And I'm wearing a shirt, so yeah, you are. Checks out. <laughs> oh my god, am I the dog since I'm naked? <laughs> 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 I'm not naked, everyone. He's I'm lying. Stewie. But yeah. So that's that, you guys. I hope you liked it. We hope you liked it. Everybody hopes you liked it. <laughs> um, uh, we liked it. We like talking about it. And yeah. We forgot to mention Devil Wears Prada. How dare we? It's a movie. I feel like we've talked so much about TV shows that mm. we need an episode about movies. Yeah, we're that's gonna it. do that because I need to rant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. No promises, though. Yeah, it, it might be uh, next episode. It's not gonna be next episode. It might be next season. <laughs> Who knows? It might be next year. Exactly. Or maybe the ten years after that. The reunion. You will never know. <laughs> <laughs> what happened 
to the hot priest and flea back, keeping up with the Kantians. <laughs> My God, but yeah, keeping you guys on your toes. Uh, thank you for listening to this uh, episode, and yeah. thank you for sharing it as well, because some of you do that, and it's yeah. really nice. And I'm very thankful. I don't know about Meg over here, but I'm thankful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful. Uh, yeah, so please uh, keep listening. Uh, share us with your friends. Share us with your friends. We're all dudes. In lieu of. In lieu. <laughs> There's a crackheadery that was missing this episode. Um, but, We have uh, to let it out. Of course, uh, yeah, share this podcast with your friends uh, and get the word out. And yeah, see you next episode. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.